All right, today is a brand new day, and I have my brand new pop filter, which I'm going to be trying out. Let's see if it makes recordings any different. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fanco Law Offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw the glass light stand. Hmm. So, you saw the stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen by the sound. Glitter! Correct! That is right. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine. Gah, what am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix! The wiretapping. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. <laughs> he Do you have proof? Oh. Miss April May knew of the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Uh, right. I had entered the Fay and Co. Law offices. Was it really you that went into the office? Or was it Miss May? Unidentified prints several days old were found in the Fay and Co. Law offices. Okie dokie. Those were obviously Mr. White's. And if I know Edgeworth, he's already run the check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Fay and Co. Law offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. Why did you tap Maya's phone? This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect our clients' confidentiality. That is when I saw the light stand. Why did you notice something so innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a beautious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it, there's nothing there for me to press him on. Oh well, maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff something out of him. Oh, let us see. Oh no, don't tell me I've run out of ammo. Tisk tisk. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright, are you giving up? Ye yes, Your Honor. Phoenix? Phoenix? 
Phoenix, over here. I know that voice. Maya? Never give up, Phoenix. Maya. My Maya. Oh. Where, where am I? The waiting lobby? What happened? Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Ah. Uh. Ah, you're finally awake. Gah! <laughs> he fainted again! Hey, hey! Phoenix! Gack? That's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Maya! You're... Maya? Didn't you know the Fey women have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that it was enough of a shock to have awoken Maya's true powers. So, Maya is channeling you, Maya? That's right. I am Maya, but I am also Maya. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. Exclamation. But, but... We don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. Huh? You've had that receipt in the court record, right? Oh, we never turned it over. Um, yeah, the one you wrote Maya on. Phoenix. White wrote that, not me. So, what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front... It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. A thousand dollars! Wow! Big spender! Item, glass light stand. Date of purchase, September 4th. All right. Exclamation! September 4. That's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day before I was killed. Whoa! Now, what did Mr. White say his, in his testimony? It was in the beginning of September, the week before the murder. He said he saw the stand a week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. I'm gonna go prove it, Maya! Right! I have proof! September 9th, 116. Courtroom number one. 
I have the proof. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The defendant is rather... Are you all right, Mr. Wright? Yes. Sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then let's start where we left off. Your Honor. There is nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant Phoenix Wright. Hmm. Your Honor, please give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Well, in this court section. But, as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Very well! You may begin your cross-examination. Objection. Yes. Look closely at this. See the word mayor written in blood? Mwaha! You're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The other side. Your Honor. Would you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? Hmm. Well, a glass light stand. The date of the purchase? Why, that's the day before the murder. Gasp! Gasp! You see? Mr. White. When you allegedly enter Faye and Co. Law offices at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there. Ka! Sob. Well, Mr. R Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No, it's impossible. Oh no, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Then that is all for the trial of... Not so fast, Phoenix Wright. Eh. What? No way he can worm his way out of this one. Oh wait, I forgot. It's Edward. There is a certain thread of logic to this defendant's claims. However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Exclamation. Ergo, I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Hmm. Another inquiry? 
This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. I'm going to object. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There's no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, if anyone is going to call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether your claims have any basis in fractual evidence. Hmm. I see. Objection denied. What? The completion of the trial of Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. No, there's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. Edworth is sure to come up with or make up something. And after Maya showed up and helped me and all. Glitter! Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course. Thank you for your time. Gah! The witness will stay. Maya. Phoenix. Read this note aloud. Maya, what is this? It's a memo received by Maya. Okay, I'll read it. Your Honor, if I may. You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. Well, Your Honor, I'm on trial for murder. You bet I am. My life is riding on this one. I have something I would like to read to the court. Maya's memo. A list of people's names in Maya's handwriting. Huh. The memo Maya had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. Stop! Desist! Halt! But please stop! Make him stop! How? How did you get that list? Mr. White. Admit your guilt. Right here, right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. I, I confess. I confess. I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss Maya with the thinker. Case closed, Your Honor. Huh! <laughs> well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again. It was quite the ins <laughs> You've done it again. It was quite a spirited defense. Yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it was. Hmm. Well, this court finds the defense. Ahem. <clears throat> rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty. Yay! Confetti! Confetti! That is all. The court is adjourned. Defendant Lobby. 
Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. But congratulations! You're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I had both you and May on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me and Maya. I won't forgive this as long as I live. You're dead. As long as you live. My, <laughs> My time here is running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. What? No, there's still so much to say. I know, Hie. It's so sad. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Chief! Hee <laughs> hee. I'm not the chief anymore. <laughs> Phoenix, can you come to the office tonight, say, nine? The office. I'll see you later. Chief. Maya! Hey, you're not the chief. I know you protest, but this is true. Being here, it's hard to not think about that night. You came! Maya, I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course they came. Well then. I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? Maya? Bwahaha! You should have seen your face. Maya! What are you talking about? It's me, Maya! Maya? What? Did I look like my sister? Look like you were her. Hmm, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Um, Maya, what are you doing here? Because of this! See? Maya wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of... Huh? She means the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new Wright & Co. Law Offices, right? And who better but me, Maya Faye, reporting for duty! Well, no, on second thought, let's make that... Let's make this casual! Yo, Nick! Maya here, ready to get down to business! Let's get down to business To defeat the Huns. You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. Ma Maya said this is what your friend La Larry calls you. Oh yeah. Nick. You know what this means? We're partners! In justice! You know, when I think about it, it's Maya's fault I'm here now. But, if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right in co-law offices, it's got a pretty good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. my chest. Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here watching.
Right, okay. Nick, let's do this. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy! Burgers! There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on! Time's a-wasting. Oh, okay. Wait up! The end. Yay! Second episode completed. Oh, Turnabout Samurai. All right, Turnabout Samurai. I think I remember this one. Wow, it's been a long time since I played this one. So excited to play it. So awesome. So we'll get to that in the next episode. Bye.